something that is trying to get in front of the man after my heart. Back in 2019, you saw it. I built a NASCAR chassis for the yes, you did. Fast and good car. And what better on top of that than a real mass pro shot for NASCAR? Woo. So, NASCAR to me is the people race. Yeah. Yeah. Americana, right? Yeah. I love these things. I gotta be careful. Actually, me and Freddie were joking around. We saw this thing. He said, Rob, don't buy it. Remember the last NASCAR you bought? <laughs> so, anyway, it caused a little ruckus on the internet. But anyway, I love this. This right here is quintessential Americana racing all the way around. You know, NASCAR's huge in the States, it's huge everywhere. But this right here, the truck series, when they brought these things in, this was really killer. You don't see a lot of them floating around in free hands anymore. You know, a lot of these things actually get shredded now. So it's really getting hard to find these NASCARs. So that's, you know, they don't want to let their race secrets out. So when they're done with them, they pull their drive train, crush them. One really cool thing about these is that since they're built for a track that only goes in one direction, everything, like all the suspension is just cantilevered exactly. over to one Exactly, everything side. is staggered to the left. Yes. Yeah. When we made the one to go to SEMA 2019, we had to basically make copies of the wishbones yeah. and then swap them because this one's like four inches, five inches and has a little bit of travel. Mm -hmm. The other side has got like a foot of travel just to keep going. Yeah. And that's another cool thing too. I mean, this one's even got the roof flap for rollovers and whatnot. But something cool is that if you park the different trucks for different tracks beside each other, this is like a super speedway front end. You know, it's the big spoiler, all that stuff. Where you've got a short track truck, it'll be flatter in the front. And I noticed that like over the years, they've now come to a point where the bodies are all the same, but the livery changes. You may have a Chevrolet and a Ford. It's the same body, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, so this car is very rare to see in the UK. You know, we used to have a racetrack over here for these guys. How did the car come into your possession? Um, obviously, I'm a big NASCAR fan to begin with and been looking to buy a car originally. Um, and I seen this truck came up one night, Friday night. I'd had a few beers. Uh, <laughs> next thing I bought it. Um, I'm glad I've to had several it. stories like that. RCR Richard Childress racing truck. Um, it came out of Ty Dillon's private collection. Uh, it's the only one in the UK. Um, and I say, I'm, I'm pleased that I've brought it here for fans to see um, and introduce people to NASCAR, which these guys will agree is the second biggest sport in the US and it's hardly heard of in the UK. Um, people normally look at this and think it's a drag car. Ask me, it's 0 to 60. Um, but people who understand race cars look around this and see all the hidden things that are uh, on it um, and say, I'm just pleased to be here today to show it everybody. Thank you very much. Give Thank this man so a round of applause. Let's hear those horses roar.